<laughs> yeah, you know we, about it more. We have, know a, about it. We have a mayor, mayoral uh, election coming up, right? Uh, for for a reason that's easy to find in the media. And um, so now everybody's platform that they're coming out with right now is talking about housing and they're really trying to make this, they're playing the the heartstrings, right? They're just, they're talking about things that people right now is a hot topic. So they're Bike trying lanes. To this, yeah, they're trying to make this storyline oh, as to how they're going to bring about change. But you're exactly right, is in order to get this change, there's three levels of government that need to work together, right? We got 31% of a new construction home going to taxes, right? Like it's, it's insane how much tax needs to be paid in order for a property. I got a, a, a site that I'm working on where the guy and he's in trouble and, and he's talking about what he's going to do. And his way to make money is to try to like, you know, fraudulently not pay the HST he needs to because it's new construction housing. Like that's his solution in order for him to just to make money on it. Been and I'm there. like, been there, right? done that. <laughs> you know, like this is, this is the type of stuff, right. That is, is necessary just to make money when you're investing millions of dollars and literally putting your whole net worth on the line in order to be able to get these projects off the ground. And nobody's taking responsibility. They keep pointing the finger. Obviously, the provincial government here in Ontario has been doing a lot of stuff. What's what's happening with housing out in BC? Like we've had some pretty significant moves. Greenbelt's being released. Um, I sold a property recently that was just released from the Greenbelt. We've had um, new measures for um, you know density and, and expanding urban boundaries and stuff like that. Is BC doing anything? Are they worried about yeah, well, those BC, things? Yeah, BC is always you know trying to again. They're trying. They're doing some new initiatives you know one of the things that we're starting to see there's a couple of things that we're starting to see unfold one of which is uh you know uh short-term rentals they're starting to really shut those down and free up long term that's what their goals are so you know we often say to investors you know if your only strategy is short-term rental you got to be very cautious because the chances of them changing the uh the rules around that are pretty high. And that's, you're seeing that happen throughout British Columbia, you know, Vancouver, Toronto, they're very similar in the challenges that they're facing, you know, but we see what BC is doing, for example, uh, in, I think it's new Westminster. Uh, there is an area of about 70,000 units that they've basically designated all of those units that even if you're an owner, you can't move into them. They are rental only. That's the mandate. That's the rule they took. And then some other uh, changes that they made was they took condos that said within their strata rules said no rental. So you bought the unit, you had to live in the unit. These were not allowed to be rental units. They come in, they go, no, no, no. Those rules are done. If you uh, own a unit in there, uh, you have to rent it out if it becomes available for rent. So they're doing those kind of things, causing all sorts of, of course, ripple effects and controversy around it. And these are things that are that are going on. So they're, they're making some of those changes just to try and create supply. They've got a housing plan of affordable housing. Not too exciting. You know, they're talking about, I think, 700 units over 10 years. It's like, OK, why are we mm -hmm. having this conversation? So those are some of the initiatives. We're the we're BC's little brother here in Ontario. We just copy everything our older brother does after he tries it and perfects it. And so we've got a vacant home tax in Toronto that just happened uh, yeah. this year. So lots like I know a we ton of people BC. who yeah. yeah I know. So we and and I was always told and what I read was that in in uh, Vancouver and BC it wasn't effective, but there's a ton of people who've had to be who that amount of money has been thrown onto their tax bill and they're because uh, the rule was if you didn't do the declaration or of course if you declared that it was vacant they charged you the one percent based on your assessed value so there's a yeah. bunch of people who didn't fill out the form so they got charged and then obviously the people who rightfully should be charged so there's a lot of people that i know and it seems like that might actually do something again just one of the thousand ways to die here you know like how are we going to be able to make this work that's one they, of them because it's they keep working. trying to crush demand they're trying to but let's just let's get clear on a couple of things i think there's it's worth noting that you know something you brought up earlier tk was you know 31 percent of new housing is actual tax right so when we look at canada when we look at the impact of canada uh, housing market on our gdp we are a debt driven country full stop uh you know it's no surprise that both the government and residents of this country you know the debt now is over 300 percent combined right so we know that we see those numbers all the time but nothing is going to change it but here's a fundamental Think about 31% tax. Of course, that's after that's you're paying that after tax dollars when you buy a house with your after tax dollars of income. But 
there's then the land transfer tax and there's all of these taxes that are being driven within the housing industry. Housing makes up a huge part of our GDP in terms of our jobs and the tax that those get paid and all of the thing, you know, the administrative that goes to support it. Think about the government jobs. It's like our economy, real estate commissions, right? Exactly. Those darn realtors and they're getting <laughs> paid and they don't pay tax. I mean, we joke, but the point is, is that it drives a revenue. So we keep living into this story that they want to fix this problem. They don't want to fix this problem. They can't afford to fix this problem because where's that revenue going to come from? I mean, I guess they can continue to up income tax, but then that would change the narrative of our governments in terms of, you know, we feel for you. We're, you know, we want you to have more money in your pocket. Like it's all one giant tax grab and the housing market is one of the things that support our economy. And it, we think they want to solve it. They don't. They don't. They don't. I don't Listen, think they ever will. 